was a lawyer and I was an artist. I love paint. I love creating textures on the canvas. I paint because it's hugely effective with my mental health and with releasing tension that I have like built up. I usually go off of colors that I am really drawn towards. That kind of unfolds onto the canvas. I went through about a year or a year and a half where I didn't make anything. I didn't paint or create. I thought I had to have all of the resources or the supplies or the time set aside in order to get going. Finally, after so long, I had all of this tension built up in me and the pandemic had just started and I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to release this. So I just picked up a pen and I was like, here we go. And so I like drew a illustration of a flower and I was like, okay, and like just kept going and going and going. And, like worked in digital art and created a couple collections with that. Finally, I got back to paint and that was only made sense starting that again. <laughs> And this collection is a lot different because I'm going off of words and what they make me feel instead of what I want other people to feel. So that's been interesting of like, what am I drawn to in a certain poem um, that then leads me to put it out on the canvas. It goes without saying, but my favorite part of being an artist is making art. Right now, that looks like sitting at my easel in my happy corner and getting lost in what's happening on the canvas. My second favorite part is when I get to live with the art and see what's not working. After a while of it being up on my mantle or as my phone background, I know what needs to happen. During this process, it's a lot less about content and a lot more about movement and emotion and expression. My brush really just does what it wants and I'm trying not to push back against that. When I'm painting, it feels like a huge relief and release to not have to think about what's next. I don't know how this happened, but I like it for now.